hello everyone today we are going to study that how you can calculate the antioxidant activity of a plant extract via DPPH assay there are actually many assays like ABTS assay grease reagent assay but for now we are going to focus only on DPPH assay DPPH actually stands for 2,2-diphenyl 1-picryl hydrazyl and it is a kind of free radical which is uh, and the color of DPPH is purple so actually what happens is that if your plant extract is an antioxidant then it will act on it and it will reduce it to D double P double H which is yellow in color so now let's talk about the protocol first of all things that you need of course DPPH we prepared it 0.4 millimolar DPPH in 100% methanol and make sure to protect it from light and always use freshly prepared DPPH the second thing that you will need is plant extract and we prepared 1 mg per ml concentration of a plant extract in 70 to 30 ratio of methanol and water we extracted in it our plant extract in methanol that's why we dissolved in methanol now the third thing that you will need is solvent and in this case we used 70 to 30 ratio of ethanol and water and the last thing was ascorbic acid ascorbic acid we use it as a reference because ascorbic acid has very high antioxidant activity so that we can compare it to our plant extract and uh, we use it 25 micromolar its end concentration was actually 25 micromolar and what I meant by this I will tell you it and the in the end so now that you have everything that you need make the different dilutions and for reference use ascorbic acid plus DPPH because ascorbic acid is a strong antioxidant and we can compare our plant ex extract antioxidant activity with this for control use solvent plus DPPH so that we can get the OD of undegraded DPPH and make sure to use different blank for different concentration because your plant extract will also be giving OD after that keep it for 30 minutes in dark under room temperature and finally take OD at 517 nanometer and the OD that comes Will be because of the purple color of the DPPH the more your purple color will be converted into yellow color DWPH the more will be the antioxidant activity of your plant extract if the plant has antioxidant activity then that means that the highest concentration uh, will be having the lowest OD what I mean by this is that since uh, your highest concentration of plant extract suppose it has antioxidant activity then it will convert more of the purple color DPPH into the yellow color DPPH and as a result less of the purple color DPPH will be there to give OD remember guys in the last page I told you that we are going to use 25 micromolar of ascorbic acid and that it was its end concentration what I meant by that I'm going to tell you about suppose we are using 2 ml of vial okay in which we put 1500 microliter of ascorbic acid plus 500 microliter of DPPH and this ascorbic acid that we are using is 25 micromolar but after putting this 500 additional 500 microliter its concentration will get decreased so that means we need to put more than 25 micromolar so that even after getting diluted it comes out to be 25 micromolar so how much we need to put extra we need to use sorry extra concentration we I'm going to tell you about that so first of all you here find out that what is 500 microliter in reference to 1500 microliter in terms of percentage so here 500 microliter comes out to be 33% of 1500 microliter okay so now find out what is 33% of your desired end concentration in this case our desired end concentration is 25 micromolar and 33% of 25 micromolar comes out to be 8.25 micromolar so add this to this which comes out to be 
33.25 micromolar okay so this will be our initial concentration that means we will be using 33.25 micromolar of 1500 microliter ascorbic acid okay so this 1500 microliter ascorbic acid that we are using here will have concentration of 33.25 micromolar so that even after diluted its final concentration comes out to be 25 micromolar that we need so finally guys i'm going to tell you how to calculate the percentage antioxidant activity of a plant extract take ODU of your control minus it from the od of your respective plant concentration and divide it by od of your control in 200 this is the final step of this dpphsa hope guys you like my video if you like it then give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe and if you have any questions then you are to free to ask them in comments thank you